All right, now we're crossing over to our guest who joins us right now on this broadcast live. We have a citizen voice joining us, uh, Professor Bijan Misha. Mr. Misha, thank you so much for speaking to us, especially about this story about the newly inaugurated Atal Setu Bridge. But we're already seeing pictures of litter, which is scattering the sides of the road. Then we're also seeing stationary vehicles being parked so that people can sightsee. What do you think? Latest infra, but old habits? Well, Aisha, it's a matter of attitude and habits, you see, and also lack of uh, facilities being provided. Like, if you don't provide a bin, mm -hmm. and if you are not strict about use of the bin by the citizens, and if you are not strict in terms of not littering the streets, this is bound to happen, and people will get into this habit of throwing wrappers and uh, using the street as a dustbin. So I feel very strongly that it is high time, you know, our country realizes that it doesn't give a good image about our country and our citizens. And I do not understand the same citizens, when they go overseas, then they strictly follow all the rules. You know, like I, I fondly recall the first time when I went to Singapore, I was very categorically told when I landed that please do not litter. And that was quite an insult on us, you know, that when somebody tells you that you are coming in with bad habits into our country. So we, it's high time we realized that we need, need stricter regulations, stricter kind of a implementation of those laws in our country to ensure that people don't litter. And of course, as I said in my opening remark, that you also need to have facilities where, you know, you can see the garbage bins are being recycled, they are being cleaned, they are being taken away and replaced by empty bins and people find it very convenient to use those bins to throw the litter. Then only the law enforcing agencies can take action. And where, where is this A municipality officials? What are they doing? I mean, uh, don't they see it? Is only your camera which sees it or we see it? You know, it's high time they were, were shaken up and they were taken to task. I am, I am sure, you know, one day, uh, very soon I will see Bombay High Court maybe again intervening in this matter and taking a Suomoto case, you know, against the authorities. Because it, these, these expensive infrastructure are not meant to be used in such an irresponsible manner. And why are the people parking their vehicles there? I don't understand again. And if the government sees that this is becoming a regular feature, they should create a bay where people can park and not obstruct the road. Mm -hmm. You know, where people can park and have a look, you know, have a little uh, get together with family to have a good look into the sea. I mean, these are all expected. But when you design such uh, infrastructure, you should also ensure that, you know, you take all these things into consideration. And uh, I, I can definitely tell you that, you know, if the authorities take strict action, people will get into the good habits and be responsible citizens to take care of this infrastructure in the right manner. So this is what, you know, I feel very strongly that, you know, it's high time the municipal authorities took strong action against such irresponsible you know, behavior of the citizens in using such infrastructure which are meant to be used in a manner for the purpose it has been built and not the way they are using it. And as I said, it gives a very wrong image about the country and about us. You know, it's very unfortunate, I would say. Professor, what do you think the specific action, what, what specific action is needed? What do you think the administration needs to do to ensure that we don't continuously see this on a daily basis on the roads, not just in Maharashtra, but all over the country? See, they are taking toll tax. What is this money meant for? Hmm. Not only to recover the cost which has been incurred, but also to maintain it. Where are those people, you know, who are supposed to be checking such irresponsible way? I don't see any you know, policing being done. Why are they not recruiting people to police such, you know, irresponsible behavior? And why are they not bringing out the regulation against such behaviors? So littering everywhere in the world, if you are found littering in an irresponsible manner, then you are always fine. I don't see it happening in our country. 
I have never seen anybody being fined other than, you know, people being fined in the no parking zone parking or, you know, people speeding up beyond a speeding limit. Now, why only that being targeted? Why, only, why not in terms of hygiene, in terms of ensuring cleanliness, in terms of inculcating good habits of ensuring even this, you know, when you see your visuals, the parking, this is illegal parking. You're not allowed to be parking there. Mm -hmm. Where is the traffic police? Where are they exactly. today? What are they up to? If they don't have enough staff, India needs employment. Employ more people. Use them for the purpose they are meant to be used. We need more people to be recruited in the traffic police. Because today in our country, the people don't behave as per the law. Because they know they can get away. They are not being punished. And the moment you start punishing them, you will see the attitude will change, habits will change, and the country will change. And we are talking about Amrit Kal becoming developed country. Where is that developed country? I'm not able to Absolutely. see that. Absolutely. Mr. Vishal, I, mean, I also want I to ask today. you, do you think that this then merits more introspection at an individual level, especially when it comes to the way that we treat our own country? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You see, Aisha, you must appreciate that your nationalistic feeling about your country comes only when you see your leaders, your, you know, mentors and others playing a role. If supposing your seniors are not talking about it to you, are not educating you on that, those issues, right from your school days, you don't see uh, people being taught when they are young that what are the good habits you should inculcate these are bound to happen because you have turned yourself into an habitual offender. You have become an habitual offender because you know nothing is going to happen to me in this country if I break the laws. And that is a wrong signal which is going. And I do not know why, you know, I do not know why the authorities are so blind on these issues. What are those political parties supposed to be doing? Where is the opposition today? I am not able to understand that. They will take up causes of all kinds of nature which are only political, not in the benefit of the country or the citizens. What we are talking today is for the benefit of the country and the citizens. The youngsters will get habitual, you know, kind of a good habits. They will get into good habits. We are not encouraging those kind of discipline in, in, in being inculcated in them. You know, it is it, it doesn't just doesn't come. The nationalistic feelings don't come just, uh, you know, as you are born. It has to be inculcated. It has to be trained into you. It has to be built into you. And, and that is why, you know, number of institutions are there to do this work. They are being given taxpayers money to inculcate such habits. But I don't see where that money is going. Where is that education? Why are the educational institutions blind on these issues? These are very important issues which needs to be part of the curriculum in the schools, in the colleges. Today you tell a ch child about good, you know, responsible driving or littering, they will look at you and smile. They say, Kaha ka admi hai, pagal hai. I think he is not from India. You know, this is the kind of remark you get. It's so unfortunate. You feel so bad about it. You know, I don't see a single person in India, you know, keeping the wrapper in their pocket if they don't find a bin nearby. But when you go abroad, you see all these same Indians who go for, you know, tourism. They are constantly, you know, adopting the local norms and local rules. How, why are, why are they doing that there? is a scare because they know that they're going to shell out a lot of dollars from their pocket if they don't do it. Here they don't bother. They know nothing is going to happen. Nobody is going to come and challenge. Okay. Nobody is going to find you. There may be a littering law uh, in the local level, but it never gets you know implemented. So what's the use of transacting such laws in the legislation assembly and uh, spending crores of public money? to manage your democracy. Absolutely. This Professor, is no democracy.